What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Series 12 in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Series 12 Dragapult team that also features Groudon, Zacian, and Life Orb Venusaur. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that, click that big red subscribe button, and join the Genes community. But this team over here was actually sent to me by somebody on Twitter, and I realized it is actually my boy Clover Bells team. If you guys do not know who Clover Bells is, he's another YouTuber who makes Pokemon content. So I'm going to be leaving a link to his channel down in the description below. But that leads me to say, if you guys haven't followed my Twitter yet, get on top of that. Follow Genes' Twitter. Link is down in the description below. Perfect place to send me rental code, you guys tweet at me you guys can dm me whatever you guys want just send them over there i'll be replying back and potentially using a lot of teams over there but uh let's get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner with the one and only groudon we got groudon such a beast weakness policy ground, i should say really cool pokemon we got drought crystal Pice blades rock slide sword dance to protect so we're probably going to be dynamax this pokemon a good bit next pokemon is going to be this dragapult over here dragapult pairs perfectly with the groudon because it has surf and it can proc its weakness policy. we got the focus ash clear body phantom force for stab fly for you know coverage and dodging moves and then last but not least we're rocking with lewis for physical attackers or burns on physical attackers middle left is going to be incineroar intimidate chukaberry everything is pretty straightforward with this pokemon you got the flare blitz you got the fake out darkest Slayer, and party shot nothing too new with that pokemon but it works so well fourth pokemon is going to be one of my favorite grim snarl setups we got screens grim snarl with the light claim prankster light screen reflect spirit break scary face such a good move set and works well in all battles Bottom left hand corner is normal Zassian build right here. Interpret Sword, Rust Sword, Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Play Rough, Protect. Again, another Pokemon that's pretty normal, straightforward, but works super, super well. And then final Pokemon on the squad is the God of the Sun right here. We got Venusaur over here. Chlorophyll to double its speed, Life Orb as item, and then Leaf Storm, Earth Power, Weather Ball, and Sleep Powder. So pretty standard team right here. Got a lot of meta Pokemon with meta movesets, but I'm really using this team to showcase Dragapult in Series 12 and Groudon with weakness policy. You don't get to see too often, so that's pretty cool. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Dragapult Weakness Policy Groudon Series 12 team. We're hopping into battle number one, and we're going up against another Sun team. This guy's rocking Charizard to Groudon alongside with Landorus, Trick Room with Dialga, and then he's got Tornadus and Grimstar, both for a little support mod. So how should we go into this one? How should we play? I kind of want to lead screens Grimstar, get that rolling, or I can go into the Dragapult and Groudon combo. Could work really well. Considering Dragapult could just throw burns off physical attackers if he decides to lead somebody like Landers or even Groudon. I'm kind of with it. I'm kind of with it. And then if not, we could just Dynamax Groudon. Pretty much roll off from there. I'm with it. I dig it. We're going to definitely want to bring Zassian to back in. And then final Pokemon, Venusaur. Got to be Venusaur. We got to get that sun rolling. We just got to get going from there. Because even if he does bring Charizard, if the sun's out, we can outspeed and put him to sleep. And kind of get some work done from there. So I'm really liking that. I'm really liking that. But let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Look to grab ourselves a win here in battle. Forward. We even hopped to the battle. You guys know your boy joined it's the short circuit gaming team and we got and I'm bringing you guys a 5% code off of acquire which is like a merch store and 10% off rogue energy. So links to all that will be down in the description below. Also go follow SCG short circuit gaming for short down on all their platforms. We got tons of new content coming for you guys giveaways all that good stuff. So do me a favor go follow all that stuff and if you guys want to use the codes links to that is down in the description below code short circuit at checkout for both of them. But uh He's rocking Dialga, he's rocking Tornados, which I do not mind. He could be popping a Trick Room, but at this point, you know what? I just think we just pop Policy, right? And then we just take out... He got Tornados. He might swap Dialga, right? Because who does he have? He gets swapped in the Charizard, right? So we just drop a Rock. What do we Quake? I really want to Quake, but I just feel like he swaps Dialga at this point, right? I feel like he swaps Dialga or protects it. Unless he wants to pop a Trick Room. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't mind if he pops a Trick Room. I would think he's taking like speed control or something along those lines, but I guess we'll see. I guess we, we shall see. We shall see. I really want to just quake and absolutely dump on that. But at this point, I just think going with the surf, weeks policy, taking out that tornado is, is, is a decent play for us. Definitely a decent play. A lovely little play, I should say. But Groudon gets that Dynamax 414. God dang! God dang. And is he Dynamax with Yaga? He is. Could have just quake that. Even though it probably would have bulked it up a little bit, but still, it could have been huge for us. And I am changing weather. No bueno. Should have, I should have thought of that a little bit better. I really want to get rid of this Tornadus, even if it's Focus Ash. We can take it out this turn. But I can quick next turn and get a special defense boost, and that can be pretty lovely for us. Pretty lovely for us. Let's see what he does here. Let's see this guy's play. He's going to set up the Tailwind. Tailwind is thriving. Tailwind is out and about. And then what's he going to go for? He's going to go for a Wormwind here to take out Dragapult. 
I was gonna go after my ground, which was a smart play. He goes after ground and he gets that minus one on him. So we'll be plus one when this comes out here. And this is tough because he outspeeds us at this point. That's no bueno. Do not like that. Surf comes out here. We pop policy. Let's get on. Let's get on because another whirlwind might be able to take me out. That is kind of scary. That is kind of scary. Wow, I wish we would have quaked. Quake could have definitely been a solid call. I'm gonna go for the rock fall. We are gonna to dump on Tornadus, no problem. Tell him to get out of our face. And he's gone. He's gone. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. So thank you. I really wish we would have went for the quake. Could have been solid, but that thing could be weakness policy as well. Definitely could. Or did it show it's orb? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, but everyone's gonna take buffets. Well, only Dragonpult's gonna take buffets. And then he's gonna throw out his next Pokemon. He's sitting in a solid spot. He has speed. He's ready to roll. Uh, hopefully, my boy can actually soak up a shot, but Intimidate's gonna come out here. Ah! God dang Intimidate. God dang Intimidate. We got clear body, but again, it's really just... It, it, my, my ground is now even on the attack board. <laughs> he's even. Uh, we're gonna go for a Will-O-Wisp here. They'll burn on you, and then I could guard this turn. Which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start wasting on his turns. I do have my lovely Zassian back. If I can waste out these Tailwind turns, we could be sitting good. Then I could potentially go for a Quake next turn. So let's see. He's gonna go chop an EQ. He has Telepathy. That's totally fine. Then I think I think Dialga is gonna go after my Groudon, which could be good. Which could be really good. Because if I can get off this burn. Wow, that took out Dragapult one shot. That took out Dragapult one shot. That's ridiculous. I was not expecting that to take him out in one shot. That is nutty. That is nutty. But we could bring out Venusaur here. Is there any too shabby? Is asking any too bad here either? But I'm just gonna bring out Venusaur. Now this is where I wish I had the sun, because I could put Pokemon to sleep. But now nah, we can't do it anymore. We cannot do it anymore. We cannot. At this point, I am just going to go for... Do I go for Weather Ball? I'll go for Weather Ball. We'll be super effective on him. Actually, would it be? Because it turns into Rock, right? Yeah, it turns into Rock. I think it should be super effective on him. This thing's flying. I might send it on to him. And then just uh, go for a Quake if I can get it off. Try this. We shall try. Even though I think he's doubling down. He's going to EQ. Yep. He's going to double down and ground on all day. I'm gonna double down into ground on all day. So EQ's gonna chip up some damage. Venusaur, wow, dude, this lander is hitting like a truck. And Hailstorm is going to drop. And Hailstorm is definitely taking it. Who's he going after? He's going after Venus right here. Unless he doesn't want to go to sleep. I guess that's that was his thought process. That was his thought process. He's gonna do that. I think Tailwind is about to end though. Which is really, really good. Because then we have a we actually have a fighting chance here. Then we have a fighting chance at, at this battle. Quake's gonna fly. We are, what are we? Even on the attack board? I think we are even on the attack board. We're gonna drop this and look at that damage. That's some solid damage. If we would have did that turn one, that could have been a great play for us. Could have been a great play because we would have had the special defense boost. My Pokemon probably could have survived a few shots. But Buffets are gonna fly. We need Tailwind to end. I think Tailwind does Tailwind end this turn. I think it might. It kind of has one more turn, which could be rough for us. Might have one more turn. And at this point, I could just double protect, right? Because Dynamax is over, I could double protect, take a little bit of speed, and kind of just go from there. Hey, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that, that that can look work decently well here. Thinking that can work decently well for us. I'm thinking it can. I'm thinking it can. Alright, so Dynamax over. Let's run it. Let's run it. Tailwind, I think it's one more. Let's see. Where's Tailwind still? No, it would be on their side. Yeah, they still have one more turn. So double protect. Gotta come out here. Protect. Bang. Protect. Bang. Run it up. Let's cancel out Tailwind because then Zassian can easily outspeed that uh that Lando. We can Behemoth Blade take him out and then go into a Precipice Blades. As long as his Lando doesn't switch. We should be we'll definitely be able to kill the Lando if we're plus one. But if he swaps and then swaps back, it's like looking a little tough. It's looking a little tough for us, but we'll see because he probably still has the ground on in the back end. But yeah, we're gonna double protect up here. We're double protecting. Double protecting. We're so still in this battle. We are so still in this battle. We can definitely still win this one. EQ's gonna fly. And that's what's so good about this combo right here is he can freely EQ without hurting his Diablo due to telepathy. So good. It is so good. He was going for that and then he was just going for flash cannon. Doubling down in my ground. Wow, he's doubling down in my ground. My ground on. But if it's gonna fly, it's gonna hit everybody except for uh, Dialga. Or no, Dialga can it actually hits everybody, right? I was thinking of uh, Sandstorm. My fault. And that actually would. Sandstorm, I don't think would hit anybody. So we can roll out here. We're gonna drop a Behemoth Blade, and then we're just gonna roll roll out with the Blades. Speed should be in our favor. Should go Zacian, Landorus, Groudon, and then Diablo. He's gonna end up with Strong. Who's he gonna pull out here? Is this gonna be Groudon? It's gonna be Grimstar. Okay, so Grimstar was dead. This could be. Oh, this could be real good for us. This could be a really good turn for us. 
to be a great time for us, but EQ could totally do a sturdy. This is going to be tough. This is going to be rough. It's going to be super close. This is going to be super close because we're going to need Behemoth Blade to actually take him out. Blade's going to fly through here. We're sending it. Takes out Diago all day. Now it's a 2v1. Oh, and now our only problem is he's intimidating us. He is intimidating us. And at this point, it's like, oh my lord, what do I do? Because if his EQ can take out my Zacian, which I think it's going to do, we're sitting tough. And I don't think we can take him out with a Behemoth Blade. I really do not think. Because we're going to be minus one. Or we're going to be even on attack board. Oh, it's going to be cutting it close. It's going to be cutting it way too close. Way too close. Yo, I hate this game. Don't like it one bit. Don't like it one bit. Coming down to the wire. <laughs> yeah, let's make sure Behemoth Blade does the most damage. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Behemoth Blade. Run it. And then we're just going to have to drop a nice, lovely little rock slide if we can. Oh, God. Oh, we actually should have double protected here. We should have double protected. I swear. If he survives on one, I'm going to cry. Because if we double protect, he could take some buffer damage. Let's see. Behemoth Blade comes out here. And no, we are going to lose. Outspeeding Groudon. Oh, no. Someone eat this. Eat this Assian. Eat this Assian. Oh, my Lord. We'd lose like that. We'd lose like that. That is so rough, but what a solid first battle. I think even if he didn't intimidate us, I don't think we were taking him out. He bulked up that shot pretty well. That last battle was a game of inches. That guy won because his lander soaked up the shot. GG's to him. Solid swap out for him at the end. Came up clutch, grabbed himself some win. But we're hopping into our second battle here. Let's grab ourselves our first win for today's video. Going up against a Kieran White and Shadow Rider Kyler team with Wimscott, Incineroar, Ditto, and Inti. Okay, how, how should I play this one? How should I roll out? I feel like Grim Snarl could be solid here. Just to set up screens, kind of get rolling here and uh, allow us to outbulk a few shots. I am digging it. I am definitely digging it. I could lead that in Dragapult. Could, could lead that in Dragapult. But I'm thinking just going Grim Snarl and maybe like Sassian at this point. I do like that, but uh, he could go Intimidate. I'm really feeling this and then just going Groudon alongside Venus in the back end. Because he has no really way of changing up weather besides Dynamax and Kyurem and going from there. So I'm going to lead it. I'm going to lead this. And I'm going to bring the, 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 the weather squad in the back end. Let's get it. Let's roll out. Let's roll out with the people. Like I said, we have to grab ourselves a win here. We need a lovely little win. So we're going to take a sip of water. Get a little hydration going. All right. Let's run it. Let's run it, people. Let's see who he's going to leave. What you got? What you cooking with, dog? What you cooking with? He's going to end up sending out Whimsy and Kieran. Okay. So Tamwind's probably going to take a little, bit, a little bit of control. Tailwind Control is coming in hot. And at this point, uh, I think special attacking, right? I believe so. I believe so. So I'm just going to set up the light screen and I'm going to I'm drop Behemoth Blades, dude. This guy's giving me no reason not to, not to rip in with Behemoth Blades. Hey, he's giving me no reason not to, not to rip in with some Behemoth Blades. Look at this moves. Oh, oh my lord. Zacian's the, the Kiram killer, dude. Go ahead. What do, what, do, what do you want, yo? Go ahead. Dynamax that Pokemon. I dare you, dude. I dare you. I hope you do. Because you know, you know dang well, if you Dynamax and I get off this Behemoth Blade, we're, we're going we're gonna to send you home crying. We're going to send you home crying. This guy's sick. He's like, oh, God, I can't do it. So he ends up protecting him. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, little boy. That's what I thought. He's going to end up Tailwind. That's totally fine. I could Scary Face him now. Could definitely Scary Face him. Light Screen popping out here. Oh, uh, we got a nice, lovely Light Screen out and about. Uh, I think we should be fine with this, this, with this Light Screen out. I, I, like, I want to, like, I don't think we should scary face him. We could, actually. I don't know if he's going to stay in here. I'm going to take off Focus Ash on this thing if, it, if it's holding it. And I'm just rolling into this. We might play all day because I don't see him Dynamaxing. He is, y'all. I don't think. I think, I think my Zacian should be able to eat up whatever whatever this thing has to offer, right? That was my thought process. Like, Zacian should be fine here. Ends up Dynamaxing this thing. See, I was going to scary face him. But I, was, I, I thought maybe he would swap. I thought I thought maybe he would swap and another thing is like I said, I think Sassian should be able to just soak with these light screens out and about. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This thing's gonna moon blast. Who's he going after? He's going after Grimstar, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Grimstar soaking. Loving it. And like I said, we should be able to eat this. It's gonna quake, but yeah, we I think I think we're fine with this. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. So Jeans' call was 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 correct. Light screen doing him good. He's gonna get that special defense boost, but he's dead, right? Like, what survives a Behemoth Blade while a Dynamax that's super effective? No one. Get this thing on out my game. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Big mistake by you. Dynamax and that Pokemon. Get him out of here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
later dynamax so cool we have the weather squad in the back end it's gonna work wonders that's perfect and we can't just go from here we got spirit break coming in as well so we can take off focus ash on him and dude i really like where we're sitting really like where we're sitting spirit break coming in hot yeah we're just uh, that zassian is just a kieran killer dude he's pretty much any dynamax killer like, even if it's not very effective, it's still doing so much damage because it's doubled, and he's plus one. And I think it was a jack button, so we forced the swap out. Okay, so we're going to get to see his final two Pokemon, unless he brings back out Wimscott onto the other slot, which I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know if he shows a physical attacker, because at that point, I can just, you know, set up a wall. A reflect, but I think his only physical attacker is going to be, like, Incineroar with his squad. I still might set up a reflect. It could be solid. Or I can just start, you know, scary facing and double down on the Pokemon. We could, we could. But if he brings out Incineroar, I probably am going to set up a Reflect and, and then protect my Zacian. So he doesn't get flinched and get the Let's see. Who are you throwing out here, kind of, sir? There's Incineroar. So yeah, we'll set up a Reflect, no problem. We'll kind of get rolling from there. And I think he brings back out Wimscott. I think he brings back out Wimscott. Or does he go in the Shadow Rider Kylox? I do not mind Shadow Rider Kylox. It's got to be Shadow Rider Kylox. He's got to go Wimscott, Kyurem, Incineroar, Shadow Rider Kylox. It just seems, it seems too good. It seems way too good. Let's see. Let's see who he brings back out here. I'm not really scared of any of these Pokemon. But I think I just protect Zassian this turn, and then I uh, set up a Reflect, and then I could pen potentially Scary Face and go into my Take a Sword next turn, if I really want to. But let's see. This guy's thinking. This guy is thinking. He's like, yo, Wimscott or Shadow Rider Kalyox? I, I think he's just going to roll out in the Shadow here. Shadow has a lot of speed. He can deal big damage. I think Shadow is 100% the call, if he, if he is rocking it, but I, I believe... I mean, like, why wouldn't you bring Shadow Rider Kyler? It's, it's not like it's the one of the best Pokemon in the game right now. <laughs> but this guy's taking a while. Make a move. There he goes. He's making a move. And no, he's going to go into Wimscott. So he's not going to show his final Pokemon. He's going to roll out into Whimsy Whims. And at this point, you know, Reflect's going to come out here. And I'm just going to protect him. Protect. Protection. Cool. So we're hoping he's faking, faking out my Zassian. If not, it's no big deal. I just need to protect Zassian this turn. Because I, 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 I can't have that threat of him faking me out. This guy's, this guy's just thinking his turn. He's thinking, he knows he's in a dumps. He knows I still have my Dynamax. He knows that I haven't showed my last two Pokemon yet. Not one of them. Which is lovely. I kind of roll off from here. But yeah, Venusaur is probably going to be our Dynamax. Because once we get the weather out here, it should be faster than pretty much anything. Except for maybe Calyrex. But at that point... Then I could just send the G-Max Fine Lash. Fine Lash starts chipping off on everything. It's just lovely. We protect. Please show me the fake out going in, Zassian. Right, show it to me. Fake out. Mwah. We love it. We love the reads. We love the we love the protect there. But now we're going to pop up a nice lovely reflect. We'll get the screen set up for the rest of the game. And move by us. He's double down. I'll turn for us. So now at this point, I think I just scary face. I just scary face you. Then I just take a sword to try to get this off. Even though I think my boy does go down here. My boy Zassian. Scary face coming in here. Oh my god, what, what am I doing? He's dark typing. That was stupid. That was stupid. What am I doing? So we, we soaked that up. I know that for a fact. That was stupid. And this thing's probably just going to go for a flare blitz at this point, right? Just go for a flare blitz. Oh, we, we outspeed him still. Okay, that's gorgeous. Some big old damage. Probably pop a citrus berry. No, and he's going to parting shot. Fine. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. You keep parting shots. Keep, keep, keep my Pokemon out here. Keep my squad out here. I'm fine with that. So he's going to pull out his final Pokemon. He's pulling out his final Pokemon. And I think it's going to be, you know, Grimnate. Grimnate person, right? Grimnate. Oh, no. It's Ditto. It's Ditto. <laughs> Shiny Ditto. And we're both blue. And now he's even more blue. Look at him. Cool. So he's going to take stats. And that's tough for him. Shadow Rider Kalyx would have been money. Because it could have came in here picked up a double kill. Could have picked up an easy double kill. But at this point, you know. Spirit Break. Spirit Break, and I will go for Behemoth Blade. Because now it's just a speed tie, unless he sets up another Talon, which I believe he would do, right? I believe he would do. believe he that's what he wants. I'm taking this, I'm taking this. And I think what's called is going to be a better Pokemon than Dynamax. We Groudon? Yeah, because Venusaur can't really eat up a Blade. Venusaur cannot eat up a Blade whatsoever. We'll see what he wants to do. I'll see. This battle is definitely a lot closer than, than, uh, than it seems. Our dude's making really good plays. Because I'm thinking about this battle like late game. When we bring out Pokemon and that Zassian could do me dirty. And he goes first. Whoa, whoa, what? What? Why was that animation so weird? What was that? Wait, what, what was that?
was that? That was the weirdest animation I've ever seen. What was that? <laughs> that was so weird. That was so weird. We're gonna be Behemoth Blade. We do like no damage. We should have went after Whimsy. Moonblast gonna fly through. That's fine. He picks up the double kill. We're chilling. Oh no, he doesn't. We're just gonna bring a crowd on here. We'll, we'll save our Dynamax for Venusaur. All day long. All day long, we'll save our Dynamax for Venusaur. I can bring out ground and I can send, you know, blade straight across. Press up ice blaze. Wow. Dude, but what was, was that? Is that like the ditto animation? Or did the game just glitch? Because that looked weird. That looked weird. I do want to see what his stats are. He's... Okay, so he's just minus one on special. How come he didn't take my stats? Doesn't he take my stats? It's a little weird. I thought he does. I thought he does. But so we're going to drop a blade here. And I'm just going to behemoth blade. Behemoth blade and press up ice blades. We're double blading. We're double blading. We'll have sun for the rest of the battle. So when we bring out Venusaur, or if we need to bring out Venusaur, we'll Dynamax him then. Because Venusaur is probably the best choice for Dynamax. Let's do the speed. Let's do the speed. Let's see who he goes after. I'm really curious to see who he goes after. Because I think what's called can eat up this. I guess it's just a ditto one. It's got to be just a ditto. Look at that. ground. I'm just soaks that up. It's got to be ditto animation. That looks weird. Ditto soak set up. I'm going Behemoth Blade. I'm surprised he didn't set up a Tailwind. Behemoth Blade should be able to take this thing out, no problem. It's super effective. It's stab. Wimscott's not that bulky Pokemon. And then Blade should come out here and clean this up. That's pretty much GG's, right? It's pretty much GG's. But we're not even going to use our Dynamax. I feel like that's such a good feeling when you win a battle and you don't even have the Dynamax. And that, that, that just means you outplayed your opponent. Crazy. We get a crit, but again, I don't think we need the crit. And he's going to bring out Instant War. And then he's going to cancel battle because it's just like, are you going to take a Sacred Sword? Or are you going to take a blades? How do you want to die? It's over with. It is GG's. Or I could Dynamax and just go from there. But again, I think our opponent cancels here. And we win this one, no problem. Because he's not rocking. He wasn't rocking the Citrus Berry. So he needs a little bit more HP to fall below. But yeah, he's, he's definitely not, 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 not winning this battle. No shot. No shot. Yes, no shot. But I'm going to run. Oh, did I just run that? Hopefully, wait, wait, I think we're going to tie. Oh my god, I just run that on I ran that on accident, but I'm counting that as a win in my book. I ran the battle on accident, yo. Because I was thinking about him just running. Oh my lord. Please say we tied at least. What is this game? Why'd I do that? <laughs> but yo, we we definitely won that battle. I'm just I'm just waiting to see if he uh he ran it or not. Obviously in our books it's not gonna say it. That's weird. That is weird. I don't know why. I was just thinking about running, so like my mind just went to the run button. We really just ran. <laughs> if he stays in, he gets to win. Battle was canceled. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we tied or he won. We, he was running, so we tied it. That last battle ended in a draw, but you guys know we won that battle. We're sitting at 1-1 one one for today's video. Hopping into our third and final battle, and this one's looking tough. Trick Room is always a tough call. It definitely is always a tough call, but how should I go into this one? How should I play? He has the, the Trick Room with the Ice Rider, Catherix, and Lunala. Which, ah, this is so scary. It really is. I kind of want to go in the ground on here. I'm only really ground him, but I think that what's called could be really, really good for us here. Grimstarl. Grimstarl with the screens could definitely help us out. Allow us to bulk up a bunch of shots and kind of roll from there. Uh, who else do we bring here? Could lead Zassian. I feel like Zassian's just a solid lead. Bring Groudon and... We can just run it back. So is this the same squad? It is. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. But yo, dude, that's so funny that we ran that last battle. I don't know. I just don't know why, like, r running was in my mind. Because I was, I was expecting the opponent to run. And my hands just went to the run button. It just went to it. And then I clicked yes. And I kind of stopped for a second. I was sitting there. I was just like, did I just run the battle? I was like, wait, wait, what's going on? And then I comprehended everything. I was like, dude, I just ran that battle. <laughs> that is so funny. But our opponent's probably like, yo, I don't know what's going on. He's probably super happy with that. But he's going to end up going in these two. I think uh, I think I end up just sending a blade in the Lunala. And I end up setting up a light screen here. Lunala's scaring me a little. I don't, I don't know who he's going to pick out. He might be the protect on this ass. Here, but it's just like the obvious play, you know. So I'm not even going to go for it. So I'm just going to set up a light train here. I'm just going to. I could drop a secret sword. But I think a behemoth blade would be a little bit better. Just over here chipping up some damage onto this restricted Lunala. This restricted Lunala. I'll pick out some come out here. And see, that's exactly why I didn't protect there. That is exactly why I did not protect. Exactly why. Exactly why. So we're going to be able to drop this lovely little behemoth blade coming in hot. Yeah, I'll send it and chip up. Not that much. The thing's a bull. He's gonna pop a trick room. All right, so trick room's out and about. I'm I'm cool with the trick room out and about. I am cool with the trick room out and about. I don't really mind it too much. We can now set up a light screen easily. 
And I could go into like a secret spot. And you know what? I could scary face my own Zazu. <laughs> that could be a play, dude. That could be a solid play. But I see him withdrawing the instant aura at this point. Or maybe trying to party shot. We'll see. We'll see. But Latrine's out and about. He could be going for Meteor Beam. He has a lot of different options on this thing. Flare Blitz. Now he's just going to send a straight Flare Blitz into my Zazu. Zazu should be able to out bulk that a little bit. Yes, sir. And maybe we can get off of Flare Blitz. We're just going to take some mean recall damage. If we don't mind. Meteor Beam is flying. If he's not going after Zazu. Grimstone should be able to send it. I'm, I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. And I mean, since it is Trick Room, I think we have to Dynamax or Ground on at this point. Probably our best play. Let's see how he plays one. Meteor Beam coming in hot. Sending it. And yeah, Grimstar was able to. So Grimstar bulks out. I am going to set up a Reflect here. Lovely little Reflect. We're going to chip up some damage on this. Not kill him. I really liked how we didn't kill him. Is that... What do we... What do we... What's he have? His Eject Bar. Okay, never mind. Dang it. I was going to say, I'm, I was glad we, we didn't kill him because of that. Because of the Trick Room. Now we're sitting in a tough position because he's going to bring out Calyrex and he's going to Glacial Lance, Glacial Lance, Glacial Lance. But we are going to set up a Reflect. It's pretty nice. Nice, lovely Reflect. Nice, lovely Reflect. So Reflect coming in hot. And what do we do from here? We just stay in, right? But we're dead. We're dead anyway. My boy Zassian's dead anyway. <laughs> I was going to protect. I probably should have protected, but he's going to Dynamax the, the Calyrex, I think, here. Cali Calyrex is going to get the Dynamax. Oh, that's scary. That's scary. Okay, he doesn't. That's, that's even better. This Calyrex is terrifying. Ice is super effective up against my Venusaur. Up against my, uh... Up against my Groudon. Not look good for us. This is not looking good for us. Not one bit. Not one bit. Even though my boy's is soaked, which is gorgeous. And then this thing is just gonna go for Moon Guys Beam. Go after Grimstrong. That's gotta be go after Grimstrong. Go after Grimstrong. That could be gorgeous if it is. Grim, go after Grim. No! No, he doesn't go after Grim. At least, uh... At least he doesn't eat up any of the shots there. All right, we're gonna go Groudon here. Dude, I'm honest, honest to God, I'm thinking of just scary faces. I'm thinking I'm just gonna scary face into my Groudon and take out that Calder. He's like, oh, like, I'm fast. I'm fast. Crazy damage. Ah, uh, yo, we're gonna scary face into Groudon. I think that's my play all day. I really do. Let's see, how many turns left in Trickin? Two. Yeah, yo, dude, let's run. Let's run. Scary face into Groudon. Let's lower its speed. Let's just drop a Quake. Where do we drop a Rock? Mm. What is going to be my play? What is going to be my play here? I'm going to drop a rock and do some work on Lunala. Actually, we kind of... What do I want to do here? No, yeah, we're going to we're gonna do that. We are going to do this. We're just going to do this. So he's going he's gonna to Dynamax to Calyrex here. That's totally fine. Or is it going to be Lunala? I can definitely see it being the Calyrex. But uh, should be able to soak up whatever he has to have. Which could be really good. Because at that point, we'll be slower than everybody due to the scary face. I think we should be. Actually, that, that might be kind of close. But I'm hoping he can pop my policy. And that, can actually, that can actually bring us from, from the dead. From the dead here. But our problem is going to be this uh, Venus we're coming in. So, because I don't think Venus was rocking protect. If Venus was not rocking protect, that could be a little scary. But we're going to Dynamax our lovely little ground on get more with my boy. 414 HP. That's a lot. That's a lot of HP, especially with the reflect on the field. It is really nice for us. Let's see how he plays along. We're going to scary face our own self here. We're dropping our speed. We're not playing around here. We're not playing around here. We're making some crazy calls here. And we still don't even outspeed. That is ridiculous. He's going to overgrowth me. I'm actually with that. I'm actually with that. Look at look how much we soak with that. Why does he go for an ice? But it did way more. I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he did that. But he's popping policy. Which I'm hoping can ground at least be slower than uh, Lunala. Just so we can get off this uh, special defense boost. Before Lunala goes. Beautiful. Cool. But I can do that again. I can definitely do that again. Go into another scary face and roll from there. <clears throat> but we deal some big old damage there. Calyx is going to take a huge amount. And now I can, I could, like I said, I could scary face again unless he takes me out. Unless he takes me out. Oh, he keeps my Grimmy in here. So Moon Guy's Beam's going to come in hot. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I am loving it. What's called might protect here? I think Calyx might protect. I might scary face and drop Lunala here. I might scary face and just drop Lunala. But I do not want to change up the weather. That's my problem. I do not want to change up the weather, but I think I have to. I mean, I think he has rather slow Pokemon in the back end, so I think I'm cool with that. I think I am cool with just taking out Lunala here. I know, Rock's super effective up against you? I, I thought it was super effective up against Lunala. Okay, so no, we should be able to just take this thing out. We're hoping he's not going to guard. Hoping he's not going to guard. 
No guard. No bueno. No garden. You're not allowed to guard. You are not allowed to guard. He guards. You son of a biscuit, dude. Get him out of here. We're going to scary face again. We are now going to be slower, and Trickham is gone. But hopefully, he can just take out Grimstarl. I really just want Grimstarl gone. And at least Rockfall doesn't change up the weather now. Okay, I, that, that's fine. That's fine. Can he take me out? He goes for a Moon Guys Beam. I think he takes me out. That actually works, that works well. Now I can put Pokemon to sleep and I kind of just go from there. She works really well. You know what? I'm going to put the Lunala to sleep. I'm going to put the Lunala to sleep and I'm going to drop a rock onto that, uh, onto that Calyrex. Where do I, where do I put Calyrex to sleep? I might put Calyrex to sleep. Hmm. Plays that we could do. The plays that we could do. If Calyrex gets off a of Glacial Lance, that is just, that's just ugly. Okay, you can't Glacial Lance, but still. I say we just do this. I say we get a special defense boost. Even if it's not going to kill it, I'm with it all day. Cool. Sleep Powder coming in hot. We got a chance at this point. Definitely have a chance at this point. Venus, we're in the sun. Loving it. And this thing is just going to drop a nice little Moogus Beam. We'll be able to soak that up. And the next turn, I could put that thing to sleep if I want to. Let's see. We might have to. We might, we, we, we might have to just, like, focus on sleeps. That is slumped. We're going to be able to get a nice little special defense boost here. And I'm going to roll into... What do I roll into next turn? What do I roll into next turn? He'll take him out. You do not take him out, but that's fine. I'm going to I'm gonna bank on him being asleep for another turn. I'm going to bank on him being asleep for another turn. I'm going to sleep, and I'm going to double down the Calyrex. Oh, no. I have a Rock Slide. I have Rock Slide, so that, so that works wonders. That works wonder. So we'll put Lunala to sleep this turn and we'll just start dropping some rock sizzles. It's gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. <laughs> this is gonna be so tough. Hate this game. Hate this game so much. But I'm gonna stay in this battle and I'm gonna fight it out. I'm gonna fight it out. Definitely gonna fight this one out. Yeah, this one, please. Because now, we're, now our boy's super, super slow. The ground on super, super slow. This is rough. Yeah, you're gonna go to sleep. We're not dealing with your stuff and we're just gonna drop a nice little. We have policy pocket, which is really good for us. So we can chip up a decent amount of damage here. Sleep powder connect, please. I'll love you forever. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Putting the powders on them. We just need to connect these rock slides. Rock slides got to connect. Lunala's slumped. Calyrex is probably slumped. There's no way Calyrex wakes up. Cool. Calyrex is slumped, and now we just need to connect this rock slide. Rock slide comes in, and we connect. Beautiful. So Cal Calyrex goes down here. We'll chip up some damage on the Lunala, and we'll go for it. We'll go from there. I think he brings out Incineroar and potentially fakes me out. But at this point, I'm just going to uh, double down Lunala. Double down into Lunala. Lunala. He brings out Incineroar. But still, yo, he has a lot of Pokemon left. <laughs> he has a lot of Pokemon left. I hate this game. But uh, I think Lunala is definitely guaranteed to sleep for one more turn. It's not guaranteed, but most of the time, it's, a, it's at least a two-turn sleep. We're going to hope that it's a three-turn sleep. That could be worse for us. But uh, do we put his next Pokemon to sleep? I think he fakes me out, and I just think we drop a Rock Slide. That's the case. I think he's going to go into Incineroar, right? Torkoal's gonna come out. Okay. I don't mind the Torx. I do not mind the Torx. At this point, you know, I'm just gonna Earth Power in the Torkoal and drop a rock at the same time. I have to keep chipping up damage on Luna. I could have obviously put the Torkoal to sleep, but I think uh, a Rock Slide and an Earth Power should be able to take out Torkoal. And he might protect, so. I'm with this. Earth Power flying through. Yeah, right, send it. Send it. Oh, yes, sir, Venusaur, sir. Mix it down to one, yo. Rock Slide, I need you connecting here. Rock Slide could definitely take it out still. Even with that berry. I would of course survive the one. That was the only citrus berry, right? Rock Slide connect. Rock Slide connect. Rock Slizzle connect. Rock Slide does connect. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. We love it. Torkoal down. Lunala's down low. Lunala is down low. Oh my. So he still has a chance for a three turn sleep. Sunlight's gone. That's a little rough for us. And he's going to bring out Incineroar. So Incineroar's going to fly out here. And his problem here is. Is like, who's he gonna fake out? Who is he gonna fake out? Who is he gonna fake out? That is that is that is weird and that is odd. That's odd. I did not. And Venusaur should outspeed Incineroar regardless, but so we're bulked on special defense right now. We're bulked with plus two on special defense. Incineroar's gonna come out here with one HP. <laughs> so we're gonna send Rock Slide. We're gonna send Earth Power. Or you know what? Do we send? Do we touch? Uh, I think we just go maybe into like a Leaf Stone. Double down into you like this. He still, like I said, he still has a chance of being asleep. This, this, this. No way we clutch up like that. 
If we clutch out, this is such a good battle. So you gonna fake me out? Who are you faking out? Then fake out Groudon, which I'm cool with. You just sort of drops Leaf Storm. This should take him out, right? It's gonna be GG's. Let's go. Let's go. Run it. Run it. I love it. I love it, yo. GG's, yo. The big comeback coming from Venusaur and Groudon. What a battle from us. You know what actually really won us a battle is those light screens. Light screen and reflect. Whew. Right? We still have reflect up. You know, it just goes for so long. It just goes for so long. But we're going to drop an EP and then alongside with a rock slide, right? Yeah, rock slide has a bit more higher accuracy than blades. And this guy just cancels the battle and we take a win. That is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one for today's video, even though we did run that second battle, but still, third and final battle was a gorgeous battle. We came back, clutched it up for you guys, and grabbed ourselves that winning record. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.